So one of the things that you're going to have to do a lot is paste projects that you've done into your student notebook. And here is how you do that. Now I'm on a Windows device and so I'm going to be using the Windows key, the Shift key, and the S key at the same time. If you are on a Mac, it is similar. It's Command, Shift, and 4. And there's one extra step that I'll show you if you're on a Mac. But if I'm on a Windows device, and let's say I want to pick this example, I'm going to push Windows, Shift, and S at the same time. And I'm going to drag the part of the screen that I want to capture because I don't need the whole thing. Now that has copied to my clipboard. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my student notebook. So from Teams, we go into our class notebook, which is usually right underneath the name of our class. And then we go into this icon that looks like a couple of books with another book leaning against them. That's our navigator. This is my test account. So the student's name is test. So where it says test one, that's my student notebook. So only I can see what's in this one. Everyone in class can see what's in the rest of the class notebook. But the student notebook will have your name on it. If you click on it, you should see whatever folders your teacher has created. And what I want to do is paste this in my handouts in my simple circuits assignment. So I'm going to move that because that doesn't go there. Uh, and I'm going to put my cursor in here. And because I've already taken that picture with Windows Shift and S, all I have to do is push Control and V together and it will paste what I've just copied into my notebook. It may take a minute for that spinny thing to happen, but it will paste in there. Now, if you are on a Mac, the process is very similar but you have to go one step further because it's not going to save to your clipboard like it does in Windows. So rather than pushing Control V if you're on a Mac, it will save usually to your Documents folder. And then you're just going to go Insert, Picture, From File. And you're going to find wherever it has saved. Again, this is my downloads. Uh, it usually saves screenshots in your Documents folder, but uh, that will be different depending on the settings on your Mac. But you're going to find where that screenshot was, and you're just going to click on it to insert it. Um, so again, if you're on Windows, you can just Control V. If you're on a Mac, you'll have to insert picture from file and find where that picture was saved. But either way, uh, eventually it will load in. It's just taking a while because I have a lot of things running right now. And that is how you get your picture into your student notebook.